OS level SAP file systems here. So these file systems are very important. When you are doing the SAP installation, SAP will create the some structure at operating system yeah. level, some structure at yeah. operating system level. So here, in case of, if you are in the SAP system, you can using the transaction ports, you will grab the logs and uh, some files, you will review the logs and everything. But you are unable to log into the SAP system, then in that case, how can you troubleshoot it from the operating system level, OS level? Right. So that time when the SAP, let's talk about the entire structure. When the SAP is installing, it will create the some file system structure at SAP, right? OS level. One is the USR, SAP, then SID is the common. If it is the ECC, ECD, or whatever the SID, if it is the NW1, NW1, if it is the NWP, NWP. So it is the XYZ, XYZ, the SID. But this is common. USR, SAP is the common file system here. Under that, it will create that depends upon the SID you give it here, that SID will be created here. That SID will be created here. Suppose example, if you see here, so if you see here, so USR, SAP, SID, right? USR, SAP, SID, MCD created, ECD, ECD will be created. So those things will be created here. Those things will be created in the systems here. That's what it will happen in the systems, right? So then, so that is done. That's what it's created here, right? So now what we can do after that, after that, after that, there are the three more folders, subfolders will be there. One is the sys and the second one is the, so D instance number, D instance number. The third one is called the, so ASCS instance okay. number, ASCS instance number here. So these are the three Subfolders will be created under USR SAP SID. The SCS instance number, the D instance number, and SIS instance number here. SIS instance number got created here. Right? That is the, the main thing here. So that got it created here. So SIS. SIS means so system. It's a global. So here here in the sys again we have three more subfolders here one is the profile directory the second one is the sys profile sys global directory then sys exe exe executable directory okay sys exe directory here sys exe sys profile sys global sys exe so profile contains profile parameters. Sir, this word we heard in the time of client administration, profile parameters and everything. SAP level, we heard like uh, RG10 and RG11. We changed the profile para system configuration settings and everything. We can change it, right? So what does it mean? Yes. So it's the same kind of thing here. In case of SAP level, if you don't have in the here, you can go to the profile directory. Here, you can just edit the profiles manually. Edit the profiles manually also. You can edit it here. You can just change the work process number, whatever you want to add the profiles, all those things you can add it here. By changing the this profile parameters, you can change it. You can do that one, right? That is what we can do that one, right? So this one we know. Right, same same concept. If you change the SAP level, here it will be changed. If you change it here, here also it will change. So SAP mm -hmm. will read the profiles from at operating system level. This will be created during the installation time. Okay, so this is the profile directory profiles. Okay, so normally, sir, SAP system is up. We can go to the RG10 and RG11. We can change it. In case, worst case scenario, SAP system is down, not starting. For starting the SAP system, you need to change the one profile. Where you, what is the second option? Is there any alternative options? Yes. This is the alternative option at operating system level. Okay. So next one is the global directory. Global directory contains pool locks, John locks, some of the SSF keys, security settings are available, security keys are available here. Right? Means, our global directory contains 
जॉब लॉक्स एस एम थर्टी सेवन जॉब लॉक्स द स्पूल लॉक्स एंड सो एस एफ एफ एस की सिक्योरिटी फाइल सिस्टम लेवल सिक्योरिटी इनक्रिप्शन की सार अवेलेबल एंड दिस सिक्योरिटी सेटिंग्स आर अवेलेबल अंडर द ग्लोबल डायरेक्टरी अंडर द ग्लोबल डायरेक्टरी इट इज अवेलेबल हियर राइट प्रोफाइल डायरेक्टरी ग्लोबल डायरेक्टरी इट इज अवेलेबल हियर राइट दैट इज अ ग्लोबल देन व्हेन इट कम्स टू द ईएक्सी ईएक्सी मींस एग्जीक्यूटेबल फाइल्स मींस सो बैकबोन फॉर एसएपी सिस्टम्स विदाउट कर्नल without exe files executable files your sap will lsap will not sap system will not stay so how without our backbone or without a heart uh, we cannot survive right same as like here sap system also so without kernel sap system also will not stay yeah that is the the main important thing here right so that is the sys kernel exe directory here we have the NTADL executable files are your SAP system is running because of this kernel. You are getting the DB related transaction code, yeah. CPU information, and uh, you executed the dis dis displaces and NQ server, application server, work process, as uh, charts, ICM gateway. This all the transaction code, all the process are working means because of it operating system level, you have this binaries are exist. If these are exist, that's why your SAP system is started executing. You are able to import the transaction. You are able to start the SAP system. You are able to stop the SAP system. How these are working means because of those binaries are exist at the operating system level. If you don't have these binaries, then so your system will not do stopped status. Will not start. Commands will not work. Even SAP will not start. That's the important thing here. Okay. So that is the. binaries here and so that is the kernel sys exe kernel here right this is a sys folder the next one is the so next one is the d instance number here in the d instance number here we have here we have the log folder work directory again here also exe same exe exe there are the three locations here one is the sys exe second one is the d instance number exe the third one is the and uh, ass exe and data folder data folder here you can see here we go to the d instance number here data folder exe log sec work directory right so log sec and the main important folder here it is the Work to directory is the very 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 important troubleshooting directory here. Yeah. So same set of file systems will be in the your ASCS. Our two instances, right? One is the ASCS instance. SAP means there are the two instances here. One is the D instance numbers, and second one is the ASCS instance number. So A so log directory work directory. So here mainly OS level access why you read is. to check the logs here but because sometimes all the logs not recorded in the sap level so but if you know the operating system level access if you know if you have then this is the place where we can see the exact rca root causes root guys solutions errors everything in this work directory here so remaining directories are very normal it's not required so data folder your data stat files are available here your historical for statistics files and everything st03 and you are seeing the load and all those things because of the st02 you are seeing the some calculations stream is because of the, the statistics files only here that will be their data we never touch exe folders same same files same file systems here and the so log just alerts and this logs this log files are available here but sec directory the certificates the psc's related things are available here then work directory work directory is the very very important thing here why i mentioned here all the work process related log files here sap related any issues and suppose a dispatcher having issue so dialog work process are having issue background jobs are having work because of the background work process so if you open the log file here it will give you the clear information here 
so what went wrong and everything it will give you the clear information this is the dispatcher so every file here in the process is dispatcher dev underscore dispatcher with icm dev underscore icm it starts with the dev underscore dvv underscore dvv rfcs dvv sm50 dvv work process 1 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 work process numbers right so these all are the work process related log files here so dispatcher we can see the dispatcher number sid and the profile see here always when starting the system it will always look the profiles and the kernel files it always look the kernel files buffers so all the information it is displayed here all the information exe files here so all the information it is looking so what is happening when it is restarted system so yesterday i think someone restarted the system so see so people are so communications so each and every error log will be displayed here error log will be displayed suppose if you see the work process log file the one does for work process this is a work process number three what is the work process number three dialog work process only those work processes what it is doing are there any errors in the work process logs in as sm50 also we can see this type of things right in the trace directory in sm50 we can see we can see it here in the trace directory similar way we can also see the log files here this is the very very important log file here so entire sap so maybe if any issues comes up this is our first troubleshooting directory this is our first troubleshooting directory to check the issues here right sap level st22 sm21 will check but you may not get proper evidences but when you go to the os level which process is gateway then icm then dispatcher or work process which process is giving the error based on that if you just open the related suppose like your gateway your work process number two is giving the error then dev underscore work process two you can check it out then it will give you the information it will give you the clear information what went wrong and everything here right that is the the main important thing of the main important thing here db work process all the information you can see it here all the information you see it here right so this is the the main thing of the the work process and everything here you can see it here so this is the one so this is the very important directory here so here we have the ascs also ascs also we have the similar file systems work directory sec directory log directory exe these all are the not important here but only thing is the work directory ascs means what will be there in the ascs what are the process will run on the ascs message and nq so message server nq server related log files you can see it here dev underscore ms dev underscore nq server how the message server nq server is working how they are processing here so all the information means it's a ascs means message server nq server only two log files we can see it's application server application server we have the dispatcher gateway icm and dialogs background and all the log files we can see it in the work directory so basically this work directory is the very important directory for troubleshooting perspective for the troubleshooting perspective it's a very important directory okay so this is the very important so to access you guys the work directory so what we can do here in your jump in your jump server directly you can just open the folder here in the here in the file explorer just type like so our host name is the kp online one right just type the kp online one right kp online one is it kp online yes so the details the the folder details will be displayed so you can see that folders also as well if it is a Linux, if it is a Linux, what you can do? CD. You should know about the Linux command. Otherwise, during the Linux administration time, I will explain about the Linux commands. Here, you go to the USR slash SAP. Check what is the SID survey. See how many number of SIDs we have here. So, NWD, NWD, which we done, that is also created. NWD, then LS-LTR. Then, here you can see the 
D instance number sys ASCS is not created still. So then all the folder similar way. But only thing is here manually we need to execute the commands. Windows directly double click, left click, right click, it will work. So that is the, the one thing here. Okay. So common file system everywhere it is the common. So NW1 ADM. In case of it is asking the while accessing the folder KP online one. So it will just go to KP online one SAP logs, so then you have the file system. ESR SAP SAD. Then under that we have the file systems. So you can see the file systems as well here. Okay, so this way also you can access it. Okay, so that is the voice level file systems. Next, we 